the forehead of your robot. Does anybody remember the Disney films Utopia? It's about a city of anthropomorphic animals, a rookie bunny cop and a cynical con artist fox must work together to uncover a conspiracy. However I encountered a deleted version of the clip where Nick Wilde bites Judy Hopp's neck that would haunt me and my dreams everywhere I go. I doubt it will. It was a warm day in my area, not too hot, nor too cold. I was browsing on the web watching Zootopia videos, and looking at Google images. However I just got a notification from Disney. Once I opened the email, it said. Dear Disney fan, we would like to show you an alternate ending from one of our films from 2016 called, Zootopia. This alternate ending is made by a former Disney animator named Kevin Michaels. We were supposed to add this in the final film, but we realized how disturbing and traumatizing it is, so we dropped it out, and we replaced a better one for kids. Watch at your own risk. I was confused, but surprised. I downloaded the file, and the file was fully downloaded. The file name was Zootopia Bad Ending. Mov. I decided to click on the file and I would watch it. Before the video started, there was another warning. The warning said This deleted version of the ending clip from Zootopia might not be suitable for children. Viewer discretion is advised. Oh no. I said in annoyance, face bombing. Not again. The video then finally started. It faded to Dog Bellwether chuckling evilly, walking towards the hole where Nick and Judy are trapped in. Well, you should have just stayed on the carrot farm, huh? Dog Bellwether said, like in the final film. It really is too bad, I I did like you. What are you going to do? Kill me? Judy hops and really asked. Dog Bellwether laughed sarcastically after Judy asked that question. No, of course not. He is. Dog Bellwether said, as she grabbed out a dart gun that shoots blueberries. Once a blueberry in the dart gun threw at Nick Wilde's face, he groaned in pain quickly, lying down. No? Judy said in shock. Oh Nick. Yes police. There's a savage fox in the Natural History Museum. Officer Hops is down. Please hurry. Dog said worriedly, while pretending to call on the phone. No Nick. Don't do this, fight it. Judy said, getting more worried. Oh, but he can't help it, can he? Dog Bellwether mocked. Since Preds are just biologically predisposed to be savages. Nick Wilde started to growl. Judy got scared at that moment. However something was completely different compared to the final film, when Nick looks at her, his eyes were dark red, rather than green. Judy started to run away from the evil fox, but he started to chase her growling. She then throws a deer mannequin at Nick, and Judy continued running away. Gosh, think of the headlines. Hero cop killed by Savage Fox. Dawn mocked, after laughing evilly. While she said that line, Nick rips the mannequin to pieces with his teeth, while Judy was gasping in fear. So that's it? Prey fears Predator and you stay in power? Judy hops asked worriedly. Yeah, pretty much. Dawn responded. It won't work. Judy said in fear. Fear always works. And I'll dart every predator in Zootopia to keep it that way. Dawn said. Judy gasped in fear, while the red-eyed fox came closer to Judy grinning stupidly. Oh Nick. No. Judy said, getting paralyzed. Dawn Bellwether then chuckled evilly, then glared at Judy, and she said the same line from the final film. Bye bye bunny. Nick then growled even more at Judy, and at that moment, something is way more different than the final film. Instead of him biting Judy on the neck, he eats and bites her neck, face and body. Judy, off-screen, let out an ear-piercingly loud and blood-curdling scream of anguish, after the screen cut to black. But her scream doesn't sound comical, it sounds like her actress Jenny for Goodwin was in agony. Judy continued screaming, as she was being mauled by her friend-turned-predator. I covered my ears from the screams of Judy. After the screaming was over, I uncovered my ears, but they were bleeding. It then faded to Judy's mauled corpse after Nick bit her. Her ears were bitten, her eyes were missing, one of her legs were missing, her eye sockets were dripping blood, her mouth was agape, and her nose is fractured. Just then, it faded to Nick while jumping in front of Dawn. Nick had his pupils dilated at that time. My bellwether, I am now your friend. 
we pray, we hunt, we eat, and we roam. Bow down to me. Nick monologued. Dog bowed down to Nick, accepting him as his friend. Nick roared, while lifting his head up to the ceiling. Dog Bellwether roared with him alongside as dramatic music played when the camera faded to the whole building of the museum. Also the camera panned to the blue cloudy sky. Then the clip ended. After seeing Judy's corpse, I ran to the bathroom and I vomited in the toilet. After I did, I cleaned the blood out of my ears with a tissue. I never knew people could add creepy escapades in Disney films. I then went to delete the file, but I thought to myself I would record the whole footage and take a screenshot of the file. After I did, I finally deleted the file. That night, I had nightmares and hallucinations of Nick Wilde and Dog Bellwether staring at me. Kevin Michaels is the Disney counterpart of David Reinson and Aiden Clorington. Be careful what files you click on.